Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Crash and this is my second video on my beginner's guide to manga. If you're still unsure what manga is, I'd recommend checking the first video out, link will be in the description below. But this video is all about multiple ways to read manga and where to read it, so let's start! We will be tackling pretty much every possible way to read manga, but there are essentially two ways to read it, physical and digital. There is a bit more to digital, so we'll leave that for last and let's start with the physicals. If you are or can't speak Japanese, you have the choice to read manga magazines which contains one chapter from multiple series, or volumes which compile one chapter of multiple series or sometimes various short stories of a single mangaka. But if you are in most other countries, you just have the option of volumes. Now, it is true that has been a physical English version of the Shonen Jump magazine in the 2000s, but it was discontinued in 2012, so it's not an option anymore. Which is fine, because volumes are the best way to experience manga. Covering generally between 5 to 9 chapters, volumes are the most common way to read manga physically, though they are still present in digital format as well. A normal volume of manga looks a little bit like this, but there are editions that are slightly taller, like the Viz Signature ones. But there are omnibus editions which generally compile multiple volumes of a single manga. One Piece, Bleach, Naruto, all of them have editions like this together with the normal volumes, which are called singles. The omnibus version tends to be worse in quality and presentation, but they also tend to be cheaper to buy, so just pick whatever fits your needs. Personally, I am collecting One Piece with the box sets here. The box sets are just boxes that contain a good chunk of the single volumes inside, for a slightly cheaper price. Though generally, each box set still tends to be in the three-digit price range. There are, however, some series that only have the omnibus editions. These tend to vary a lot in quality. And some omnibuses even are hardcover, like this mammoth, the Berserk Deluxe Editions. The single biggest advantage that physical editions have over digital is just that they are simply the best way to read. Seriously, just... just... Oh. Sorry. That was weird. Seriously though, nothing beats holding the book in your own hands and appreciating the art in the best quality possible. With that said, there are a lot of circumstantial cons that can make digital the best choice. First and foremost, the price. I mostly bought my manga first hand, and the retail price tends to be anything from 8 to 20 euros, depending on the quality, size, and if it's an art cover or not. Though things like the Berserk books tend to go between 30 to 50 euros at any given time. They are the exception, however, not the rule. A normal Shonen Jump book will be around 5 to 10 euros, depending if you get it on sale or not. But for $2 a month, you can get all of the volumes of all of the series of Viz's Shonen Jump catalog digitally as well. It's a bargain, really. Besides the price, there's also the problem of availability. A lot of manga is out of print and a lot of manga is out of stock. Manga sales have exploded since last year and the stock still hasn't caught up yet. The Asano manga that I own, for example, was mostly bought in 2019 and it was fairly easy and cheap to buy them. I generally wouldn't mind waiting months for a bigger sale on a book that I was looking for, but if you are planning on getting into Pun Pun now, it's more likely to want to buy at a retail price as soon as you can, because it is going out of stock. Now, I'm not saying that you should resort to scalpers, and more that you should pay attention to your local or online stores to see when the manga you want is available and buy it fast. Out of print manga has always been a problem, however. Especially when Tokipop went under, Pretty much every manga that they own went out of print, and Tokyo Pop was huge. So if you find a manga that was published in the 2000s that you like, there is a chance that it was published by Tokyo Pop, and there is a chance that it's hard to get. Now some of them, especially the Kondansha titles, have been republished, which is nice, but that's definitely not true for all of them, like Battle Royale, for example. Dark Horse is also known for letting pretty much anything not called Berserk go out of print eventually. That isn't to say that you can find some of these titles in digital form legally, either, but there are other ways to read them. With that said, before I completely leave the physical releases topic, there is a subculture of self-publishing manga. I never did this, but I know it involves printing scans of a manga and binding them in a way that it looks like a normal volume. As far as I can tell, this subculture only does this for volumes are not available in English physically in any format. But I do need to stress that this is illegal. I'm, I'm just mentioning because it is a thing and I don't want this video to be true. And it's not going to be the last time we're going to be talking about illegal ways to read manga. So, 
Moving to digital, there are a couple ways to read digital. I read in my computer, on my phone, and sometimes I still my girlfriend's tablet. The obvious advantage of the computer is the biggest size. You can get quality that rivals or even surpasses the ones from the actual books. Most of the time you don't, but you can. Of course, tablets and phones are more portable. My phone has a 6.4 inch screen, which is good enough for all my manga needs. But if your screen is below 6 inches, I personally will not read it there. Tablets for me are the best choice, the screen can be as big as a normal volume so you have no problems reading the pages there, and it's still quite portable. There are however also Kindles, I just never used one to be honest. But they're probably the best bet for people who have problems reading things from the screen, which I know is a thing with certain people. Kindle's problem being that it lacks the ability to visit sites or have applications that stream manga, like the Shonen Jump or the Manga Plus apps. You would have to get ebooks, which is not a problem because you can get them on Amazon or Comixology. I have bought those before, but the reason why I tend to avoid them is because they tend to cost about as much as the physical editions of a book, and if that's the case, I'd just rather buy the physicals. However, there are a lot of digital only releases and even releases from manga that are out of print or out of stock, so sometimes it is your only choice. Or your only legal choice, that is. Scans are fairly handy, and I'm not really talking about rips of English prints, but more so translations of manga that are not available in English in any other way. There are translations of manga with very little audience that are weird and interesting. And I'm not going to pretend that I'm a saint and I don't read scans because it's painfully obvious that I do. I otherwise would not be able to read one third of all the manga that I have read. All I'm gonna say however is that it is worth and rewarding to give money to things that you do love. And if you love manga you should try to give back to it whenever you can. And seriously, when Shonen Jump is only $2 a month and Manga Plus is free, there are absolutely no reason to not use those. And honestly that's my recommendation, if you are starting to get into manga and you don't know where to start, if you are on a country where a Shonen Jump app is available, that's where you should start. It has a pre-beat catalog of Shonen and Jojo manga, including some of the biggest titles in the market, like Dragon Ball and Naruto. If you do want to get in the physical market, I recommend starting with one volume long manga, things like Solony, All You Need Is Kill, or some of the Junji Ito stuff. You know, things that don't need a lot of commitment. But I still think digital is the way to go if you're a newbie, it's just cheaper and easier. And if you do like the stuff, then you're ready to buy manga in book format. However, if you're rich or you really, really just want to get into book format, then go for it. It's still the best way to experience manga. Digital has a lot of pros. You can have all of the manga in your fingertips. It's generally cheaper, not always, but most of the time. There's no problems in, with lack of printing and ports and damaged goods. It's just so much easier. But I am a happy man when I look at my shelf. You can't beat that. You just can't. And that's it for today. If you are new to manga, I'd recommend checking the playlist on the left. And if you watch it till here, thank you very much. And I'll see you next video.